17 minutes it took me to seal this whole wall and this back wall, which is this right here. And then and another how long was it? 60 foot. 17 minutes and 60 feet? One man. That's came out to calculate at, uh, well, from my years of experience, the way we do it now with the peel and stick, is it, you'd have had three guys down in this trench, you know, and, and uh, so it came out to be 96% labor savings. times all along this bank here maybe on this bank we'd have a couple piles of waste because you know the breeze comes up and that thing gets stuck you can't pull you them can't, apart you can't get it done and it is 100 percent adhesion because it's applied to a form that's never seen uv rays and yeah. it's been yeah, close to the sun Floating. Floating, yeah. yeah. That's where this will help too. Yeah, once you get that done. That's yeah. good. That's a good point. Yeah. But this, if, once you get this, that's all. Exactly. It ain't gonna... And and we didn't have any floating problem. No, I don't. None I can see whatsoever. Where you would not. Well, so this is Don Riley from D and D Cement and Construction in Watertown, South Dakota. No, I think you have a. You you got the right idea there, especially for the hydraulic. And what I can see is the most benefit plus the. Uh, Expediency of putting it on. I think you got a, you got the right idea. You got, we're using it anyway. We might as well make it easier. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it's easy to see just how simple this process is. Quick, clean, simple, efficient, and quality waterproofing. All done with an ICF form. So now, can you do this for you pour? I did it before I poured. Yeah. This is this particular form here has a tendency to float on me. Yeah, that's what I, you know, that's what I was looking at with light forms. They do too, yeah. you know, to some extent. I had no floating problem for yeah. the first time using this form. Okay. By, by sealing these down, you can see they're all sealed yeah. and not mm -hmm. floating muddy. Right? Yeah. To me, the probably the bigger selling point. Well, there's two of them. I mean, one, it's going to be a lot better product as far as, you know, there's quality quality of installation. But being able to, you know, tie it all together before I pour is, you know, going to be worth the you know, yeah. He puts the product in. I mean, he's an ICF installer. And so he came up with this. And then but what he's doing is looking for an easier way to put on mirror dry or whatever has to be white but you know putting on that and then being able to have a better job you know because see if you leave those blocks out in the sun very long they're going to oxidize and then they don't stick as well which isn't as big a deal in the summertime it usually sticks pretty well but in the winter time you know when it starts temperatures start getting cool the other thing is he puts all these he tapes all of them before he pours so then you don't have anything floating up but yeah, it, it looks like a, a neat deal, so. Well, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. If you and I would've come up with this, we wouldn't be uh, working at the drive-in on the weekends to make extra okay. day, so. But, uh, no, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. Like I say, I'm kind of selfish. I like a uh, benchmark to tie into it as soon as possible. Where I think ICF is going is a good combination. 
foundation and I think the timing is good. Well, it's, I go to the World of Concrete every year and a lot of it is spent looking, you know, is there a better way to water? You know, I mean, that's, you know, that's the whole thing. I mean, you know, especially right now, I mean, you know, with all the moisture we've had, you know, it's, it's not, well, it's kind of tough to sell basements until you say, well, you know, you can make them warm and dry and, you know, what? Yeah. But you have to be able to back that up, too. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, I don't want to get the call that, you know, hey, I got water. Yeah. yeah. This, to me, would be a huge step, you know, just for the simple fact that now I'm dealing with this strip here and that strip there to get that 100% sealed rather than trying to get all of this whole face sealed. Yep. You know, to me, that's, you know, that's kind of a no-brainer there. Well, you know, to me, the concept is, it's stupid simple, and it's like, why didn't I think of it so I could retire, you know, but, <laughs> you know, that's... Yeah, it's a it's a no brainer. This is something we would definitely, um, I, I mean, not only the waterproof, but the, you know, you've dealt with them too a lot longer than I have. But the floating issue just is is a never ending battle, and I can't imagine this does nothing but strengthen. Times um, all together. But you know, you're not going to have a blowout yeah, at it, all. I would guess with this product. Well, I, I mean, this here is something that I firmly believe will. Completely revolutionize the, I agree. the web. I think that's a great idea. ICFs are done. So, what we want to do is is show at this meeting just by my making a few cold calls to, to people I've never met before, and just revealing this concept. I think it's just proof to them that I honestly think their sales are going to double because if somebody's going to use the, their waterproof form, the low grade, and, it, and it's a full concrete structure, obviously, they're going to use their form as a Absolutely. website, too. And, and talking to guys like you and, and letting them see that, you know, is, I think it's going to be helpful. So. Oh, it's exciting. I'm looking forward to the progress. Yeah. Another 28 feet of wall in what, 15 minutes?